Velachara offers seniors beautiful apartment living. It's a special secure place to belong, providing choice, freedom and professional care. Each spacious apartment comes with an ensuite, veranda, security and on-call nurses. Entertain your guests in the elegantly appointed shared spaces. Our vibrant activities program will keep your mind and body active. Bella Chara welcomes new residents. Call us today on 5202-5300 for a personal tour. And now to another big event down on the coast at Lawn is the Surf Rowing Championships. Those big surf boats, pretty hard yakka. And we're talking with Aaron Tannehill, who's a competitor from Jan Juck and organiser of this event, which is sponsored by the Navy. Huge event here at Lawn. And uh, how many crews have you got in the Surf Life Saving Society today? Yeah, so today we've got 50 crews here in total, which is fantastic. We're ranging from, you know, we've got the young young under 19 men and we've got the under 23s as well. And we've also got the open men and women and some of them are, you know, some of the top crews in Australia, you know, your lawn, uh, Jan Juck, and we've also got a really strong uh, crew from Woolamai as well in the open men and we've got some masters here as well so it, it, the age is, is it's fantastic we've got 18 year olds here having a go and then we've got some some people who have been rowing for up to 30 years uh, this is the third event of the navy series so we've got four events in total down here at lawn today uh, and it's great that we got the peter pub down here as well you know we work really well and have a great partnership with the uh, lawn surf life saving club well i was about to say you got the place really pumping because you've got two major events all happening at the same time and uh, conditions tough out there today oh look it's it's, it's, it's a low tide, which means it's quite shallow racing, which the boats kind of drag, uh, and there's no surf, which I don't like personally myself. I'm rowing for Jan Juck, and uh, it's quite tough racing, and, and it's nice and tight because of the even conditions. Uh, you can pick the better crews from the even racing, but at the same time, you know, every crew's a chance. Um, in, in terms of our partnership with Lawn, yeah, look, the Peter Pub, the biggest, biggest ocean swim in the world, uh, and so we're here in the morning, and then we work really well. We, you know, we get down and support the swimmers in the afternoon, and they give us some volunteers, and the great thing is we're all volunteers every single one of us so all the rowers here today over 200 of them are actually volunteer lifesavers at their local clubs um, we've got clubs from all the way down lakes entrance and then all the way west down to port ferry so you know we, we're really spread right across victoria the, the great thing about this year is uh, we've, we've had some great even racing. We, in the past, there's been one or two crews that have really stood out. In the open women, we've got today Jan Juck, one of the top crews. Unfortunately, they're racing somewhere else today. But we've got the two lawn crews are down here and St Kilda with Matt Silker as the sweep, who's also the president of that club. Um, they're the top three to really watch out for. In the open men, we've got the Jan Juck Thunder, who are here today, uh, with the ex-Olympian uh, James Marburg rowing for them. Uh, they're definitely the crew to beat. They won their first race by about three to four boat lengths which is a massive distance in this type of racing. Uh, but they've also got Lawn and Woolamai, as I was speaking about before, who will definitely challenge. Uh, in the juniors, we've got Mornington in the under-23s, who are quite strong. And we've also got Woolamai, uh, who are great. You know, they've got a great rivalry between those two clubs, being great friends at the same time. Like I said, we're volunteers, and, and they definitely have a great you know, social time together, and, and they just love coming down here and racing together. Well, Aaron, you see me on top of everything today. You've got uh, terrific knowledge of what uh, this is all about, and we do hope that today ends up very successfully for you. Yeah, definitely will be. And we've got round four, the final event, which is at St Kilda on Australia Day, so make sure you get down there and check it out. You're recruiting, and uh, there's a lot of very talented people here today that could uh, be a uh, top uh, job for them somewhere along the line. Yes, definitely. You're right there, Ian. Uh, we have a lot of people here, a lot of fit, young, healthy people, which is why the Navy's glad to be sponsoring this event. Uh, pretty much any event where you find these uh, fit, young, healthy people, we'll be there looking to try and to get them into uh, jobs in the Defence Force. Well, it seems that there are positions available right now, and uh, these you would target fit, healthy kids like this. Yes, definitely. We've always got target allocations for specific jobs throughout the Defence Forces, uh, specifically targeting Navy here today uh, and all the surf, surf life-saving guys as well. There are quite a few jobs available. The best way to do to find out about them is to call 13 1901 or to uh, ring up and uh, jump on the website at uh, defencejobs.gov.au. And Danny, you of course representing the Navy here today who do put in quite a lot of money in sponsorship of this wonderful event. Yeah, that's, that's right Ian. Um, Navy is a big sponsor for the ASRL and um, as we go through each of the heats of, the, of each state um, they'll all then get together, uh, choose their uh, club representatives and head up to Stockton in Newcastle, I believe, um, I think middle of February I believe, that um, they'll go to the Nationals there and, um, and compete for uh, a brand new surf rowing boat uh, sponsored by Navy. 
and um, hopefully we'll get a good turnout. Well, this is round three down here at Lawn today. Nice, cool, uh, overcast conditions, not too oppressive, and we're seeing some uh, pretty keen competition by the look of things. Well, it'd be nice if the surf was a bit up and um, and give the rowers a bit of a a bit of a, um, a leg in up up to the shore. But um, they're making hard work of it today with uh, having to row back through the the boys. But it's really testing them out today. Well, that's all we have in sport for this week. But I'll be back next week with more sports news. In the meantime, we're standing by for the weather with Graham Rowland. Thanks, Nico, and. Hope you didn't get your feet too wet down there at Lawn. And also, hope you enjoyed that special report, Cogsy, from the traditional home of your beloved Carlton Blues. Great to see the Melbourne Storm and the Melbourne Rebels coming down to Geelong in February. Now let's take a look at the weather expected uh, for Geelong and the Surf Coast over the next six days. Tomorrow, Saturday, will be partly cloudy with some isolated showers clearing by the afternoon and a top of 23. Sunday will also be partly cloudy with gusty winds during the afternoon and a top of 25. Monday will be mostly sunny with a top of 27, be a pleasant day on Monday, while Tuesday will return to partly cloudy conditions and a top of 26. Wednesday will bring isolated showers during the morning with a mostly sunny afternoon and a top of 26 while Thursday will be cloudy throughout with very little chance of rain and a top of 25. Today we had a mostly sunny morning with some isolated showers in some areas. We reached a top temperature of 27. And that's the weather outlook for Geelong and the Surf Coast over the next six days. Now watch out for the fire alerts and also the UV alerts that are issued each day by the Bureau of Meteorology. Thanks for being with us on News Geelong this evening. It's always a pleasure for us to bring you the positives from our great city. To the Flanagan family and close friends who lost a wonderful man this week in Fred Flanagan, we send our sincere condolences. Rest in peace, Frederick Andrew John Flanagan, Vale 1924-2013. To the team at News Geelong, have a safe and enjoyable weekend, an enjoyable week, and a very good night.